What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 Series 10 video. Now the other day on Twitter, I put out a tweet saying, Hey guys, there's a particular singles Pokemon that a lot of people are sleeping on right now and it's actually really great in the VGC format. Well, grand reveal, it's Toxapex. And some of you guys might be thinking, oh no, I don't want to face a stall team. I don't want this thing to pick up in usage. But to be honest, it's mostly just like support. It doesn't really stall out much. Uh, but yeah, if you guys enjoy this standpoint point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because I bring you daily Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC content and answer my comment question of the day. What poison types do you think are to be are going to be great in this upcoming format? Also, thanks for all the support in the channel recently. We've been growing like crazy. I've been getting over 200 likes on my videos, so we'll make that the goal for today. Let's try to hit 200 one more time on the likes. But yeah, let's go ahead and do it. So. This Toxapex is mainly meant to check, once again, like like in last video, uh, both Zacian and Xerneas. It's able to wall out both of them with Timid Moonblast at plus two, only doing 49% maximum with uh, Black Sludge and Regenerator, allowing me just to like not even care about that. Wide Guard is phenomenal for beating, uh, what is it called, Kyogre on lead, because next to Zacian, what I can do versus that is I can actually just go ahead and go for Wide Guard into a substitute and then they're sort of stuck because most Kyogre are Choice Scarf right now. So with Wide Guard being such a threat, I will be able to Wide Guard before the opponent's next Taunt because I believe it has higher priority than Taunt with Prankster Thunderous or Prankster Tornadus. So I get two Wide Guards off, which means I also get to go for a Sacred Sword or a Behemoth Blade or whatever into the uh, Kyogre. So that's really cool. Uh, Haze is meant just to get rid of stat boosts. Like if a Zacian Swords dances in front of me, I can just get rid of that if a... Uh, uh, if a uh, Xerneas Swords, not Swords Dances, but uh, Geomancy is in front of me, I can get rid of that. Scald is great for burning, physical attackers, uh, just chipping Incineroar, uh, burning Rillaboom, you know, just stopping them in their tracks. And of course, Recover is meant to increase Toxpex's longevity. I could have ran, like, I don't know, Icy Wind or some other support move, but I think Recover is just great. Next up, we have Standardization, Behemoth Blade, Sacred Swords, Swords Dance, and Substitute. The sub swords dance set is absolutely insane. We all know Zacian's great. I'm running my assault vest Rillaboom spread, just tanks a hurricane from Tornadus and is able to absolutely eat hits from uh, Kyogre while one shining it with Woodhammer. We have Focus Sash Regieleki standard set, a Figgy Berry Incineroar, careful nature, meant to take a Moonblast to roar out the Xerneas, roar out the Trick Room User, whatever it needs to do, and Darkest Lariat because this team doesn't really care much about. Uh, you know, like Ferrothorn or other steel types. I don't really need the fire move to beat Zacian. I have enough tools to deal with it. Uh, I actually just opted for Darkest Lair out because we are somewhat weak to Calyrex Shadow, but if Toxpex is on the field, it can indefinitely stall it out. And finally, we have Ace, um, a Culberberry, Fake Out, Trick Room, Psyshock Protect, Gothitelle, meant to trap things in with Zacian on the field uh, and just be a general nuisance. That Culberberry will allow it to tank a Choice Banded Jolly Wicked Blow from Urshifu, and the special defense just allows me to eat like water spout from Kyogre. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. I've only done a few games with this team uh, and we're on the bottom of the ladder right now because surprise, surprise, uh, the official showdown ladder just added the series 10 uh, format. So we're not actually playing on the other ladder. So all that work in the other ladder, more or less gone. We're just gonna be playing on this one. So low ladder, not too much testing, but the tox packs in general has been good on every team that I've used it on. It's just this team in particular hasn't been tested much. I did play like three games and won all of them though. So, you know, that, that's enough for now. But let's go ahead and try it out. So we're facing, did I face this guy last time? I'm pretty sure I faced like a Clefable Dialga team. Uh, not really sure what this does. I think I would enjoy leading off Zacian Gothitelle because of that. It's typically pretty safe. Uh, in the back, I'm going to go ahead and bring... Toxpex doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look too bad. Um, neither does Incineroar. So I'll go Tox Incineroar. I'm not really a fan of Rillaboom in this game because it doesn't hit that, doesn't hit that, doesn't hit that. And the rest of it, it's just like, it's okay damage. Nothing that Zacian would be able to deal with anyways. So yeah, this is the sort of team that I'm scared of because I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> I have no idea what they're going to do. So I have to be careful. Hopefully we don't start this off with a loss. They're taking their time. They're like, I don't know what this guy's gonna do. I don't know what he's gonna go for. There's the Entei and the Rillaboom. So what I'm gonna do here is, 
I should be able to get in my Incineroar. And I can't fake out the Entei. They should be faking out Zacian, right? So I can get in the Incineroar. And I kind of want to Trick Room and just play defensively for a couple of turns until I can get rid of the Entei, because that's probably the biggest threat. So if I get an Incineroar here, what I can actually do on the next turn, even though I'm not going to Intimidate it, is I can actually Parting Shot into it and go for a Psy Shock and then get in my Tox Specs and Scald and stuff. So this might seem a little weird, but trust me on this. They're not switching out that Entei. Is there White Herb Rillaboom? Interesting. I call the Fake Out correctly. Don't call the Sacred Fire correctly, but it's not a big deal because I don't get burned. Trick Room up. Let's go ahead and parting shot onto the Entei, uh, as well as go for a Psy Shock. That almost, that's Life Orb, that's crazy damage. So if I took 64 from that, do I live this next one? I have no idea, let's hope I do. I just want this damage, because Life Orb Entei is pretty scary. It's pretty, pretty scary. I could also protect, technically, but um, I think I'll be fine, I hope. Getting the Tox Specs, we're gonna Scald it next. Sacred Fire, ah, I don't live, okay. What a shame. What a shame. Uh, let me go ahead and Scald. I'm not even going to fake out this turn. I'm just going to go for damage because I think I can beat the rest of this team. I probably should have just protected there, to be honest. It was a lot safer, <laughs> but I was being stupid. Um, yeah, we're just going to double into the Sente. Life Orb is a really interesting item for this guy. But yeah, my main... I, I don't really fear the Rillaboom now. It, there's a Toxpex in the field. We don't care. Reggie Lucky can hit the field all at once. Um, I threaten it more than it threatens me. Darkest Lair. We do get that KO, which is absolutely huge. And here, what I can actually do is Wide Guard and go for a... It's again the Rillaboom, so I can't Wide Guard anymore. Um, but I should always be able to try it once. <laughs> actually, no, there's no point in Wide Guarding here. Because I always tank uh, Electro. I actually take less than half from Electro. So what I'm going to do is just go for damage onto this thing. They go for the Fake Out, that's fine. Um... Scald, gonna bring it down a little bit. I do get the burn, which is nice. Let's see if they Thunderbolt. Thunder Cage. Luckily, they're not Magnet. Uh, but I should be able to get rid of this thing now. Uh, yeah, it's mainly an issue of getting rid of this guy now. Just because the speed control is annoying. I'm gonna Scald, and I'm gonna go for a Darkest Lair. Let's see if they're carrying Protect, or if they're switching out. But they don't really have any switch-ins to both of these moves. Like, their best option would be, like, Clefable. As they do have Protect, but that's fine. Yeah, I don't really mind losing this thing as long as I can trade it for the Regieleki. So, I'm just going to Scald into you again. I could actually go for a Recover in case they decide not to knock me out for some reason. Because I think Darkest Lariat's fine. Actually, no, it's safer just to double. Because I think once I get the Zacian in the field, it's pretty much over. Dialga doesn't have too much for it unless it's running like Earth Power. Which I'm not even sure if it gets, to be completely honest. Or if it's like Weakness Policy, that could be a huge issue. I think I should have kept that Gothitelle. This would have gone a lot smoother, because now it's kind of iffy with this Regieleki. I have like four attack investment, and I don't know if this will KO. Maybe with the burn, it'll come close. There's the Porygon Z. Um, Maybe there's hope? The Electroweb. Okay. That's fine. I just gotta get rid of you. Okay, yeah, that burn's gonna let me pick up the KO here. Let me get in my Zacian. And what I can actually do now is... I am, I'm in a Swords Dance, which might sound stupid. It probably is stupid, but I'm also going to Parting Shot this uh, Porygon Z. Or actually, no, I always live the hit from Porygon Z. I think I Parting Shot the Rillaboom. Because I don't want to die to Grassy Glide into Hyper Beam. There's the Fake Out, that's fine. Let's see if they Hyper Beam, or if they have like Flamethrower. They have Nasty Plot. Interesting, okay. Maybe I should have parting shot at you. Sacred Sword, Darkest Lariat. I double into you. This should pick up a KO. And then it's just Rillaboom versus Incineroar, so I should win that just very slowly. Yeah, Wider Rillaboom's interesting. Grassy Glide, they're going for it. They really think this is going to do it. I don't think it will. Oh no, they have a good item for it. Did they just Icy win me? Get out of here with that. What the? <laughs> Dude, you just had to... I, I guess they weren't, they weren't going to win anyways, but I'm so confused as to why they clicked that. 
I'm confused as to why they would Icy Wind there. Maybe they thought I would like protect on Zacian, but little did they know I don't have that move. I don't have that move. All right. I'd like to face Xerneas with this team. Xerneas is like one of the most popular Pokemon in the ladder right now. So, hey, there it is. So the cool part about Toxapex for checking Xerneas is it can't be redirected. That's the cool part. Um, I'm going to go ahead and lead off with... I actually have a pretty, I feel pretty okay leading off Toxapex uh, Zacian. I'll go Toxapex Zacian, uh, mainly because they can't trap me in with anything. Incineroar is definitely a must here, and I think my last Mon is going to be the... It's either Rillaboom or Regieleki. I think I'm leaning towards Rillaboom just so I don't lose to Swampert, because I know how good Swampert can be for walling out Zacian. And while I am a lot weaker to this Volcarona, it shouldn't be too big of an issue. Maybe it is a big issue. <laughs> Maybe I should actually just lead off like a Lecky Toxapex and Zacian in the back and then Incineroar. I'll do that because Toxapex 1v1's um, Swamp Art if it comes down to it. As long as I land a burn. Most Swamp Art are more defensive than, than offensive from what I can tell. All right, yeah. So that's fine. Uh, I should be able to protect, and I'm actually going to go for a Scald here on that Swamper because that's going to be really useful. Because they may just protect and try to Earth Power. So the Scald's going to be nice. And if they do end up going for a Quiver Dance, I can just Volt Switch Haze and it wouldn't, it's not the end of the world. All right. What's the chances they didn't bring the Xerneas at all? As they struggle bug, interesting. What if they set up on me? High horsepower, all right, this burn's gonna be really important. Nope, no burn. Okay, time to Volt Switch out. Volt Switch, I have no switch-ins to this except for Incineroar, so I'm going to try my best to get this regenerator going. Hopefully they don't protect this thing now. That could be really annoying. Uh, but in it, now that I know it's physical, that's actually really great. Volt switch. Gonna get back in the Toxapex. They go for a heat wave. Is that actually high horsepower of the Toxapex again? Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Um, I can recover now. And fake out the Swampert. They shouldn't be able to KO me with anything Volcarona's going for. Heat wave did 13%. So they need like a crit to do that. And then on the next turn, I'll actually go ahead and just go for another Scald in the Parting Shot because I should take the hit. It's it, mainly my my priority is just stopping the Swamper from being a nuisance. All right, um, let's go ahead and attempt another burn. I'm probably going to get faked out on my Incineroar. So I'm actually willing to go Regieleki here. Because the burn is what I'm fishing for right now. I could try to parting shot. That might be better. I think it's better just a parting shot. Yeah, I don't really care. That's fine. If I get this burn, this is going to be huge. Let me get in the... I think I'm going to get in Zacian here, to be honest. Maybe Varangieleki. I'm kind of concerned about the Sucker Punch. Nah, I don't care. Here's the parting shot. Let me see if I can get this burn. That'll be huge. There's the Swampert. No burn for me. I should pretty much always Volt Switch here on the Urshifu. And get an Incineroar. As they call it, that's fine. I'm Focus Sash, so let's see what they go for. High Horsepower. I tank that. They're going to go ahead and Sucker Punch me now. So... I'm going to get in my Toxapex and Parting Shot you. Yep. This is a very defensive game. So we know all of their Pokemon now. 
and they're just 100% prepping Zacian. So I'm going to do this. Getting the Reggie Lucky, you cannot resist going for this fake out. You cannot resist. I need this burn. You have to fake out the Aleki. You know you want to fake out the Aleki. Give me the burn on the Swamp Bird. Or the Urshifu. Either one is great. I'm just fishing for burns right now. Hey, and you know what? You know what? Check this out. I should always be able to call your protect here. They should always protect this thing. So what I'm actually going to do is parting shot the Incineroar and Scald into it. Yeah, there it is. Give me the burn on the Swampert. That's probably the biggest thing. Burn on the Swampert, please. Please give me the burn on the Swampert. Ah, dang. This is the worst Scald game I've ever played. Um, at the very least, what I can do here is... I'm going to try to Swords Dance. I'm going to get in my Incineroar. This is a very aggressive play, but I think I'm fine for doing it. So they go for the Yawn. That's fine. Um, I can Parting Shot the Swamp right here. Or even just really go on the offense. <laughs> I, funny enough, I think Toxpex can deal with this entire team if I play right, but it's kind of scary to do that. I'm going to go to Toxpex and Parting Shot. My horsepower misses, that's great. Gonna get back in the Zacian. They parting shot my Toxapex. I'm gonna substitute this turn. Actually, yeah, Yawn doesn't go through substitute. Yawn doesn't go through substitute. And I can also wide guard. Ooh, check this out. Check this play. Check this play. Hey, you know what? I'll take that. I'll take that. I'm going to wide guard again to possibly block whatever they're going to go for. And I'm going to swords dance. Even if... Is that short-sided? That might be short-sided. Nah. I think I... Yeah, I swords dance here. But I'm going to scald the Volcarona. Or alternatively, I can get in the Incineroar here. Preemptively. And Sword Stance, because you should fake out to block a wide guard. They didn't fake out. Did I just lose? I hope I didn't just lose. Ah, that's really close. That's really close. That really hurt me on the inside. Let me fake out you. They can't protect this Incineroar. I don't know how well it takes plus two. I hope this KOs. It's going to be really close, but ugh, that sucked. That sucked. I should have always just gone for the wide guard, I guess. But I thought they would fake out to block it. I'm actually not sure if it does block it. I might be stupid. I might be a little stupid. But like I said, if I take one important piece from this guy's team, um, Toxpex is fine. So I'm going to go on the offensive here. I'm going to try to KO something. Incineroar seems to be the most important one right now just because that fake out pressure is absurd. It's good damage. Nice. That's, in that's incredible. That's incredible. Uh, probably going to go Urshifu here. Probably going to go Urshifu, so I'm going to Darkest Lair out this... No, I don't do that. No, they go Swampert. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, I can probably take the Volcarona from them. And I'm going to sack the Regieleki. Yeah, I'm going to sack Regieleki and take... Take Volcarona. Actually, do I? Yeah, yeah, I think I take Volcarona. They may even have Protect on the Swampert. That's fine, it didn't matter which one I targeted. Stay Waterfall. Get in my Incineroar for a permanent Intimidate on the Swampert. Nice. And I have Fake Out Pressure for the Urshifu. So I'm always just going to go ahead and Fake Out the Swampert. Because they don't want to take um, fake out in the Volt Switch. They should always protect. If they go for another really aggressive non-fake out turn, I, I might be in trouble, but it shouldn't be the end of the world. Yeah, nice. Okay. So now, uh, what I can actually do is 
Scald into you. Do I scald into you? I think I scald into you. Or I can go Regieleki. Yeah, I go Regieleki now and I parting shot the Swampert. Yeah, because I should keep this. Just barely, and I get my berry now. Get in the Toxapex. Get in the Incineroar. And now they're at really low attack. Yeah, the Urshfu has like crits and stuff, but now I just fish for burns. So I'm going to fake out the Swampert and Scald the Urshifu. I could also go really aggressive and try to burn the Urshifu. That's fine. I don't lose too much from that turn. Uh, on this turn, I'm going to double the Urshifu. Because I should beat Swampert 1v1 barring no crits. Yeah, because they were Citrus Berry. So if I get like one burn, I win. They're probably going to Wicked Blow into the Tox Packs, but it shouldn't do too much. Shouldn't do too much. This has been a really, really defensive game. I think I, I'm on my second game right now. I'm on my second game. I know I said this wouldn't be a stally team, but when you have two people playing absolutely defensive, like there's only so much you can do. And I think this might come close to KOing now. You go for the yawn. That's fine if I get a burn. We got the crit. We got the crit. I'll take it. I'll take it. I don't think they beat me now if I get the Scald burn. Can I finally get this burn? Can I finally get the burn? Yes, that's game. That's game. They can't beat me anymore. They can't beat me anymore. Yeah, look at that damage. Even if you crit. Even if you crit, you're not beating this. You're not beating this. Let me get this recover off. I'm going to wake up this turn. Finally. Oh, that's so satisfying. Finally getting that. Nice. So, Scald, I win inevitably. Nice. GG. I know they just left, but GG. We got that win with the Tox Specs. Yeah, Tox Specs goes crazy right now. If you play it right. Like, that was a heavy positioning game, and we have another Swampert. <laughs> we have another Swampert. Uh, have I learned my lesson? Will I bring the Rillaboom? Find out immediately on Dragon Ball Z. Uh... Hmm. I definitely still want to bring the Toxapex. It's really good here if they don't bring this guy. So what I'm going to do is lead off Gothitelle. And I'm going to go Gothitelle Zacian again. Actually, no, I'm going to go Gothitelle Lecky. It seems safe. Once again, just seems very safe. Uh, Toxapex and... Do I bring Incineroar or Zacian? Incineroar is really hard to pass up in this matchup. We're actually going to go Incineroar and lead. Incin, Gothitelle, Zacian, and Toxpex. Yeah, that was good. Uh, so what I should be able to do is fake out Swampert and try to parting shot here. Let's see who they end up faking out. Because I really appreciate that Grassy Train probably more than they do. I probably appreciate the Grassy Train more than they do. That's fine. All right, check this out. Check this out. Parting shot you. Get in the Toxapex. Let's see if they're U-turn Rillaboom. If they're not U-turn Rillaboom, they're about to have a really bad time versus me. Ooh, they're Earth Power. Okay. Maybe not as much of a bad time as I thought. But still not a great time. I think I go with Zacian here. Let me think. If I go Gothitelle, I have some fake out pressure versus the Thunderous. But if I go Zacian, I can try to sub up and then get in my Gothitelle. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go Zacian. I'm going to attempt to substitute and get in Gothitelle for fake out pressure. 
because I should Thunderbolt this Toxpex here, and I can tank it on my on my Gothitelle. T-Bolt. The Yawn. Awesome. That is incredible for me. Let me go ahead and Swords Dance now and go for the Fake Out on the Swampert, because I'm not, I'm not fearing this Thunder. It's not at plus two, or not at plus three, technically. Technically at plus three. And I think that's my number one priority, to be honest. All right. Um, do I sub up again? I could sub up again and try to deal with this thing. What if they yawn? Are they going to yawn? What's the worst that happens? They can Thunderbolt me. I don't even know if this KOs, to be honest. Hmm. Please KO. <laughs> Please KO. Ah, that was really close. Please live. Electroeb, interesting. Nice, nice. So here, uh, I have to figure out if they're carrying... to figure out if they're carrying anything that can actually deal with this. I could also double the Thunderous, because now I'm not really scared of Swampert. I think I always target Thunders here, like Fake Out, Behemoth Blade. Because I don't get outsped by Swampert, but I would have gotten outsped by the Thunderous right there. And they do take that piece from me. But now I get in my Gothitelle. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, let me Trick Room up and get in my Toxapex. Because they should, like, Sacred Sword. I'm not even going to bother with the Fake Out. They should be fearful of this Fake Out. Yep, there it is. That's fine. Psy shock you. Get back in the Incineroar. Did I already eat my berry? It was eaten, but I should be fine to do this because they're not going to stay in. It's going to be a very slow end game. But what it comes down to essentially is getting Toxapex alone with Satian. <whistles> yep, Swampert gone. There's the Swords Dance. Do I look like I care? <laughs> look at me. Do I look like I care? All right. Trick Room's up. Uh, what I'm going to do here is get in my Toxapex. Hmm. Actually, I think I protect here in Parting Shot. Or maybe just protect and get in Toxapex. Yeah. Because next turn, I can always haze. And it's likely they're just going to go ahead and try to deal with the, um, the Gothitelle here. So now, uh, what I can do is get in the Incineroar. Ooh, this can be really close. It's gonna be really close. Do I tank a Grassy Glide? If I get an Incineroar, I should. So I'm gonna get an Incineroar and Haze. Even though it's gonna undo the attack drop on Rillaboom, it prevents Grassy Glide from being annoying. So they double that, awesome. And I think here I go for the burn on the Rillaboom, and that's my win con. So I'm going to fake out Scald, and if I get this burn, that's going to be huge. Grassy Terrain's also almost gone, which is going to be really great for Toxapex, because it makes it so the burns are actually going to matter. As I don't burn, they're probably going to Swords Dance again, that's fine. Uh, and they're also likely going to Wood Hammer. I think I still go for the burn on the Rillaboom. It, this is going to be really close. I can also, are they gonna double? If they double, I think I have a chance. I'm gonna trick room. That might be a throw. Nah, that's game. Dang, that sucks, okay. Watch me get the burn now. Nope, okay. GG, well played. Let's do one more for the vid. 
Let's do one more just to get over that 30 minute mark. We're at the 30 minute mark, but I want to do one more because we actually didn't do too many games. And ooh, this is going to be one of those fu Did my OBS just crash? Did my whole computer just crash? Okay, so my computer crashed in the middle of that recording, and then it was like, hey, you know what, you want to update Windows? And I'm like, ooh, Microsoft, you sly dog, crashing my entire recording, and then making me have to recover the files just so you can update my computer, ooh. Like I said, we're doing one more. <laughs> I'm, I'm this, I'm this Marini right now. That's me. That's me, I'm so upset. And this is Microsoft. Your people are probably so upset I'm saying Microsoft, but if you know, you know. Anyways, this is gonna be the last one for the video. Uh, another Zacian team. Ooh, Zacian, um, Zacian plus Zapdos is actually really cool. I feel very strongly that I should lead off with um, Gothitelle, Regieleki. And in the back, I'm gonna bring the Toxpex one more, once more. I, I keep bringing it just cause I, I have so much faith in it. And I think my last one's gonna be the Zacian. Let's do this. Win or lose, this is gonna be the last one. <laughs> We've done like four battles. We've done a total of four battles, dude. I said it wouldn't be like that, but it, it ended up being like that. As they lead off Incineroar, Regieleki. Um, since they're gonna outspeed me, my Gothitelle, uh, I always just fake out their Regieleki and go for the vault switch onto it as well because as much damage as I can get on that thing's gonna be really useful and hopefully I can win the speed tie that's always really annoying alternatively they could fake out my Regieleki uh but then I just fake out theirs so yeah that should be fine but just getting damage off on this thing's gonna be really really huge and I'm assuming they're going to Volt Switch as well. This isn't really a situation they want to be in. As we just trade the Volts, <laughs> we trade the Fake Outs. Theirs does significantly more. Uh, and I'm somewhat tempted to Psy Shock now and Volt Switch in case they opt not to. Or even if they opt to protect and try to KO my Regieleki, which might be their play to be honest. Uh, I don't feel uncomfortable staying in with my Gothitelle. I'm actually going to double the Regieleki slot. I'm going to double. This might be really risky as they do end up protecting. Uh, and they go for the Snarl, that's fine. I just do the same thing. Regardless, this is still a pretty decent way of dealing with this. But that does sort of reveal uh, Assault Vest Incineroar, since many Incineroar don't actually run Snarl unless they're Assault Vest. We can confirm that by if they have Parting Shot or U-Turn. But hopefully we can pin this Regieleki and get some decent damage. But it all, it all it all depends on the speed tie, pretty much. All right, we win the speed tie, get some okay damage. Here, I'm assuming they're just going to go ahead and... Probably going to Volt Switch on the Gothitelle, if anything. I can get in Zacian, but it's really risky. I think it's better just to get in Zacian than the... In the Toxapex. As they end up light screening, that's fine by me. They do have parting shots so that is not Assault Vest. And once this Regieleki's gone, this whole game becomes a lot easier for my uh, for my Toxapex. So I'm somewhat tempted, depending on what they go into, I'm somewhat tempted just to double the Regieleki and almost sack the Zacian, to be honest. I don't really care as long as I get this thing off the field. Um, I should Sacred Sword here, because if there is an Incineroar, that'll be fine. And I'm not too scared of Zapdos, unless they like Electroib Stomping Tantrum, which they could do. But I think Sacred Sword is going to be enough to pick up a KO. Uh, and I also want a Trick Room. And get my Tox Specs on the field. So I'm into Sacred Sword. They Volt Switch, that's fine. Let's see if they KO my Zacian. Low Sweep, interesting. Glad I went for the Trick Room. <laughs> Not that, that makes too much of a difference, but it is really nice. Uh, now I can actually get in my Toxapex, and I'm gonna go for the Psy Shock here into the into the Zapdos, since it should deal decent amount of damage. You know, it's super effective, and I have no investment whatsoever. And there is a Light Screen, and I am at minus one, but it's gonna be okay damage depending on the set the Zapdos is running. Low Sweep makes me think 
Dang, it makes me want to think there might be a vest on that, but vest Rillaboom just makes the most sense in this format. As they fake out this thing, and I get my Psy Shock off, let's see if they're running like a dark move. Go for a low sweep, that's fine. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and stay in. I really don't care. Like, really, uh, I think I'm going to focus down the Zapdos. It's mainly their Reggie Alecky that's annoying, but the damage I've gotten off on it so far is pretty good. I'm not too fearful of Incineroar, it's mainly just Reggie Alecky. Burn? No burn. But we're slowly wearing down the team. They go for a Snarl there and another low sweep. Interesting that they really want to lower the speed on this thing. Are you Scarf? Is there a chance they're like Scarf? Did they outspeed? No, we don't know if they outsped me because... Oh, wait, no, they might have. Let me see. I wasn't paying attention. Zapdos used a low sweep. Where is it? Yeah, they're Scarf. <laughs> they're freaking Choice Scarf. Yeah, give me this thing. Give me this thing. I don't care. I, I want to get rid of it. Nice. And we still have two turns of Trick Room. So if Reggie Alecky comes in, it's probably gone. Let's go for the parting shot. I would assume here... They're not Magnet, so there's a good chance I just tank the hit regardless. Um, let me go ahead and get in my Reggie Alecky. And... Like I said, I want to get rid of this thing. It's going to be close. I think if I... I think they're going to get a light screen off, if anything. Like, just light screen protect. Double protect? No? Alright, let's see if I lose my Alecky. Yep. But now I actually get in my Gothitelle, which is arguably better. I need this trick room, don't I? I might have lost. <laughs> There's a chance I lost. Let me, um... I'm thinking of Volt Switch. I can try to trick room again. I can try to trick room. <laughs> but if they double this Gothitelle, there's no way I'm taking this. There's no way I'm taking it if they just normally hit me. Um... Dang. I'm gonna attempt it. Maybe if I protect and go for a Haze. I might be able to tank one hit because of how defensive this thing is. So they Volt Switch me, I tank that. And Sin comes in, that's fine by me. Haze, get rid of that. Uh, let me attempt to... Yeah, Trick Room's going to be my best friend, even if I get outsped by Zacian. Because I can just indefinitely recover. I'm going to try to Trick Room and I'm going to get in the Zacian. <laughs> this is such an awkward last couple of turns. Behemoth Blade, I don't live. A Parting Shot me, Ugh, this is not looking good. Alright, uh, this is going to come down to how they decide to play out these last couple of turns. I'm going to recover up and attempt a Sacred Sword onto this Regieleki. Let's see if they Thunderbolt my, my Tox Specs. If they Thunderbolt Tox Specs, they absolutely win, but otherwise it comes down to speed ties. How much did T-Bolt do last time? They Volt Switched and did 66, so maybe I can live. Maybe my plays actually recover. <laughs> I'm going to do that. Ooh, ooh, I might have done it. I might have done it. <laughs> I probably didn't. I do win the speed tie between our Zacians, but uh, they're running close combat, interestingly enough. I'm going to go ahead and recover again. Because I think I just need like one Scald in the Selecki with a burn. <laughs> this is really stupid. This is such a stupid endgame for me. <laughs> if I get rid of Alecki, I win, essentially. Because Zacian just doesn't have the damage output for Tox Specs. That's why this recover is so important. Because I don't think they're running Thunderbolt. Did they just Behemoth Blade me? I'm going to try to recover here, and then I'm going to try to call a switch. Ah, oh, no, they knocked me out. Okay, good game. 
So unfortunately, I didn't play Toxpex all that great today, but I still think you can, you know, see the value in Toxpex in the format. Uh, let me know what you guys thought about it in the comment section down below. Uh, of course, leave a like if you enjoyed or if you just, you know, want to support the channel. We're shooting for 200 today. And with that, I'm going to call it. Have a nice night and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.